Welcome to Dentist Behaving Badly. I'm Dr. Tony, a dentist who has been in practice for over 20 years. I'm selecting articles from the internet of instances of dentists who have made the news for acting up and others who have found themselves in bad situations. Sometimes good intentions turn into something bad. Other times the intentions were bad from the beginning. The link to the source article for today's story can be found in the description box. Also, I'm not trying to embarrass anyone, so I only use the initials of the accused in the video. The identity of the accused can be found in the source article. Today's article was found on the DEA Drug Enforcement Administration's website, their official website, on November 18th, 2022. Dentist and town of Oyster Bay worker charged in 136 count indictment for opioid prescription scheme. Again, this is November 18th, 2022. Mineola, New York, Nassau County District Attorney and Drug Enforcement Administration Special Agent in Charge announced that a Nassau County dentist and the town of Oyster Bay worker have been indicted for their roles in a scheme to sell opioid prescriptions during a four-year period from 2017 to 2021. Dr. J.D. 49 with a home address in Farmingdale and a dental office address in Massapequa was arraigned before the judge today on 113 counts of criminal sale of a prescription for a controlled substance by a practitioner or pharmacist, a C felony. The defendant pleaded not guilty, was released to pretrial services, and is due back in court on January 9, 2023. The dentist also previously surrendered his DEA license to prescribe. If convicted of the charges, he faces a potential maximum of five and a half years in prison. MC 52, which is his accomplice from Farmingdale, was also arraigned today before the judge on 63 counts of criminal sale of a prescription for a controlled substance by a practitioner or pharmacist, a C felony. And 23 counts of criminal diversion of prescription medications and prescriptions in the fourth degree and a misdemeanor. The defendant pleaded not guilty, was released to pretrial services, and is due back in court on January 9th, 2023. If convicted of the top charge, the defendant faces a potential maximum of five and a half years in prison. Thousands of Long Islanders have lost their lives in the last decade due to the opioid epidemic, the DA said. In this case, a respected dentist is accused of supplying more than a hundred opioid prescriptions through an intermediary to people he did not meet or examine. The diversion of powerful prescription pain medications has wreaked havoc on our communities and I thank the DEA for their assistance in this investigation. In a case of clear disregard for medical integrity, Dr. J.D., with assistance of another, allegedly distributed oxycodone to not only individuals that he didn't treat as patients, but also to total strangers. In the midst of the opioid crisis with the highest number of American poisoning deaths ever recorded, this supposed medical professional undoubtedly put lives at risk, said the DEA special agent in charge. The DEA is committed to investigating medical professionals and registrants who contribute to drug abuse and addiction within our communities. I commend the work of our Long Island District Attorney's Office Diversion Group and the Nassau County's District Attorney's Office for their dedication and hard work on this investigation. The DEA The DA said that, according to the investigation, the dentist was licensed in the state of New York since November 20, excuse me, 2006, and operates an office in Massapequa. During the course of the investigation into a fatal overdose, NCDA detective investigators became aware of the dentist's prescribing patterns. Between May 2021 and September 2022, one, so that's between May and September of 2021, investigators from the NCDA and DEA conducted dozens of interviews of individuals who had received prescriptions from the defendant. The investigators learned that the dentist was allegedly issuing prescriptions for opioids, including oxycodone and hydrocodone with acetaminophen, to individuals whom the dentist had never examined and in some cases never met or spoken to. 
Investigators learned the dentist had a relationship with MC, his accomplice, and that the accomplice had allegedly approached people known to him and invited them into the prescription scheme. The accomplice allegedly received personal information, including name, date of birth, insurance information, and preferred pharmacy from these contacts, and then allegedly supplied that information to the dentist. The accomplice th then allegedly informing participating in individuals that the prescription was ready, and then the accomplice was paid between $150 and $200 or received a portion of the pills. The accomplice allegedly paid the dentist between $50 and $100 for the prescription steered to him for a total of approximately $5,000 between May 2017 and April 2021. The accomplice is employed by the town of Oyster Bay. Neither the dentist nor the accomplice are charged in connection to the fatal overdose. The accomplice was arrested on November 17th. 2022 at his residence in Farmingdale by the Nassau County District Attorney's Office detective investigators. The dentist surrendered his, this morning to NCDA's detective investigators and to the DEA. The charges are merely accusations and the defendants are presumed innocent until and unless found guilty. Dope man, dope yeah, man. Yeah, so I need this dentist to just stick to the job at hand, doing crowns, bridges, treating teeth, providing oral care, instead of trying to be a thug, drug dealing, and hustling. This one is just ignorant. There's not much else to say other than it's just flat out ignorant. Most dentists endeavor daily to use their skills, talents, and social standing as doctors to provide outstanding care to their patients and serve as role models in the community. A small group of others allow entitlement, greed, and personal proclivities to overshadow their responsibility to their patients, the profession, and the society.